The environment is really fostering opportunities to solve big problems. You are working on a problem whose solution is going to make a real difference to society. We work on Alzheimer's disease, how new medicines can be manufactured that have a particularly good way of crossing the blood-brain barrier. Neutrons, their quantum physical properties are really exciting to interrogate materials in a way that you can't do with x-rays or light. We work in regenerative medicine applications like wound repair and bone healing as well as cancer. We're really interested in the nanoscale aspects of those materials. Computation, material science, and chemical engineering, thermodynamics. Distributed renewable electrochemical energy and mobility. We are developing more surface or interfacial specific spectroscopic tools. How can we engineer those materials to mimic aspects of that dynamic environment? How can we manipulate the protein so it can function this way? Our groups in general are not huge. It means that if you want to drive your project, you need to be driving your project. And if you're not going to drive it, then no one is. And that's exciting. That means you're the one who's moving science forward. It's not too small. It's not too large. There's a lot more student-faculty interaction. So we are really shaping students and who they're going to be. One of the reasons I chose to join the department is because we have a very collaborative and supportive environment. i really, really attracted to the openness. Being in a campus environment where everyone is sort of doing their own independent thing, but there's lots of collaboration and lots of sharing, to me is really energizing. The opportunity to interact with people at that level not only creates a very fertile environment for scientific discovery, but it's also a great environment to learn and for students to be trained in. We try very hard to think about not just hiring the best scientists, which is sort of the first and foremost criteria, but also hiring people who can come into the department and when they start a conversation, then that conversation spills over into conversations with multiple people that bring out new ideas. Because everybody works on such different topics, that diversity of experience really leads to unexpected but really thought-provoking questions. Science is one thing, but you have to have that chemistry with the advisor that you work with. Well, obviously, it's a back and forth process, right? I mean, you provide something and the questions come back and, 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 and make some changes and make it a lot better. With the collaborative nature of the faculty, you really have the opportunity almost to create your own research topic. Having this open-endedness and really being able to really pursue your ideas and really grow, thinking about the, the end user, the end population that could benefit from potentially the research that I'm doing, there's some great potential to make an impact there. I think that that's what really gets me going each day. Delaware is an exciting place for training students and postdocs to be entrepreneurs. It's not done at the expense of the kind of fundamental doctoral research, but it's a compliment. I think the most valuable thing that I'm getting out of my University of Delaware education is how to become an independent researcher. I know I'm not going to be working on the exact same problem when I go get a job, but I know that I can learn about a problem and figure out a way to solve it. Having so many different chemical engineering companies close by really gives us the ability to do fundamental research but have an eye towards industry application. So one day, you know, we could see some of the work that we're doing here at the university end up at one of those companies. Look at Delaware as not just a school, but the chemical engineering department as a family. People are, are very particular about where they sit in group meeting. Yeah, we always sit at the same, <laughs> same place. It never changes. Uh-oh. I tend to sing. Yeah, singing and dancing. Yeah, I think I've caught people singing. I think people have caught me singing. The, the Lego movie song, everything is awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. And then I do a dance sometimes. The key source of caffeine in my group, I think it sort of depends on the person. Bruhaha. Bruhaha. Uh, definitely Bruhaha. <laughs> <laughs> we recently just did an escape the room that we didn't escape from. <laughs> <laughs> it's those sort of informal social interactions that have brought us together so that we work together in research, but we also socialize, we also do all the little things that are sort of part of the, the larger fabric of what makes somebody happy. And I think it's really critical for solving the big problems that we all interact together. So we want to create an open collegial environment, looking for people who are fired up about working on exciting science and working with others. Basically someone who's willing to get along, work well with others, do good work, and, and just be passionate about what they're doing. 